Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss why the majority of fossil fuels must stay underground to combat the climate change crisis. If the world wants to control the ongoing climate crisis, the vast majority of fossil fuel reserves owned by developed countries and companies should remain in the ground, an analysis has claimed. A group of researchers have described the climate change situation to be absolutely desperate and have said that 90% of coal and 60% of oil and gas reserves could not be extracted if there is even some chance of keeping global heating below 1.5 degrees Celsius. This research has highlighted the gap between the reality of the situation and the goal set by world leaders in the Paris Agreement. The implies that many operational and planned fossil fuel projects inevitable, the scientists said. Experts have said that the new plans of fossil fuel industry make sense only if the leaders and countries believe that the oil, gas and coal production has already peaked and a decline of 3% will now be commencing. They also warned that countries who rely heavily on fossil fuel revenue, such as Saudi Arabia and Nigeria, are the ones who will be at greater risk. The analysis has stated that US, Russia and the former Soviet states will have to keep 97% of coal reserves in the ground to make sure the temperature stays below 2.5 degrees Celsius, while China will have to keep 76% in the ground. Similarly, all Middle Eastern states should keep two-thirds oil reserves on ground and Canada should keep 83% oil from tar sands should be left untouched. It is absolutely desperate, said Professor Paul Ekins of University College London and one of the research team. We are nowhere near the Paris target in terms of the fossil fuels people are planning to produce. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.